hot. This is our parlor in the front. Kind of cool, the stained glass. These are my favorite breakfast things when it's really early in the morning and I don't feel like making anything. I'm back again so soon, but um, today is, what is it, Tuesday and I'm drying off cows today so I thought I would show you that process and whatever else happens in my day because no day is the same when you're a dairy farmer. Look how pretty it is this morning. Ooh. Here is my dry off list. I have 10 to do today. Also, I love this little thing we have in our office. It says, a cow is not a machine. She is a provider of her wages and the wages of others. She deserves to be treated with abundant kindness and patience. So true. She must be kept comfortable with ready access to good roughage, clean water, and fresh air. If she runs from you, you are doing something very wrong. Her body language is talking to you all the time. Learn to listen to it. Okay, now I'll show you everything we need to dry off a cat. Start with spectrum mist. This helps them not get an infection in their udders during the dry period. By the way, a dry cow is a cow that's not giving milk anymore, so we give them a two-month vacation for milking to let their body go back to normal, and then the end of the dry period is when they have their baby. And then we have these alcohol swabs to clean off the teeth before um, doing anything to it. Then we have our teat sealant. We use Orbiseal. And same thing for per cow. We need a cow crayon to mark them when they've been done. Um, Coronavirus, um, it's for cows, not humans. Vaccine, the Alpha 7 vaccine, Clostridium. And we use Multimin for a uh, vitamin supplement. It has selenium, magne manganese, copper, and zinc. This is where all the milk is stored until the milk truck driver comes. So you can see the pipelines up there and those go into the parlor. So it's all run into these tanks. Here are the bands that we use. The purple means that she is dry and the red means she has been treated with antibiotics. Um, and the antibiotics is just that spectrum mast. And by the time she's um, not dry, it will be out of her system. But these go around her legs, I'll show you. I right, you know I'm gonna get the question, why don't you just do it in the parlor? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we have to give a, two sub Q shots in the neck, and, and doing that in the parlor is not ideal. I've tried it before, and I almost broke my hand off. So we do it back here in this controlled area, and it's a lot easier for me. Although, the teat part would totally be easier in the parlor, but I'd rather just do it all back here. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, now to actually dry her off. You can see. There. Remember our first step? A call swab. You can 
see I got the, eye, this is the iodine on it. First step is Spectrum Mist. This is not a needle. You can see it's a soft tip. And just strip out a little bit. And Now on to this. Same thing, soft tip, not a needle. And this is the teat sealant. So you kind of close off the teat like this, and you put it in. Now I'm going to go put bands on her leg. Okay, bands are on. Not too tight. I can move this one up and down like that. So that means that we're done with the teeth part. Now we're going to move on to her shots and marking her, but here she is if you want to see what she looks like. She's just locked in there for now, I'm going to let her out. It's not hurting her or anything, it's just a way to keep her restrained and more comfortable. Okay, so multi-mint on the skin, scour guard is in her back leg, the muscle, the booty, and the Alpha 7's also in the neck under the skin. This is too bad. I'm going to use this cow crayon and mark it. Just wrote a D on her for dry. And that's it. I'm going to do the rest of them. The other nine. And I'm not going to record them all because it's just the same process for everything and my hands are freezing and I just risk my hands for you guys by wearing only these because I could, can't touch the screen in my other box so I'm going to put on my other gloves. Everybody's annoying right now. So I kind of just went up here and I'm leaving her behind because she's annoying. I went up here and I just shut that door so I can try to sort her out. Wish me luck. So I have her singled out. Go. She is a nutcase. And I'm going to bring her back up so I can dry her off. You think you're gonna get away with not being dried off, girl? You would hate your life down here. You'd be in pain. But if I don't dry her off, her bag will get full of milk again, obviously. And she won't be very comfortable. She'll be in pain, actually. Hey, bestie. She's mad at me. She's like, I want to go with my friends. Same for this one down here. And come on. When it's open, like this, it doesn't lock. They just got new sand bedding, and we rake it just like you would on the beach. How cool is that? Chewing your cud. Like you, beautiful girl. I'm gonna redo my braids. Fresh cow protocol, we have a brand new mom. 
I'm gonna start by giving her some aspirin. Give these warm sleep three balls, which are an additional calcium source, and then we give the calcium where it's good. So I'll show you how I give the, the pills. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with aspirin. It's a pretty big aspirin because it's a big animal. And I'm gonna give her six. And we also give them vitamin B, which I already did. Calcium. More calcium. So you just connect this bottle. I can see the bottle running and I'll show you the other side and it's going underneath her skin and all of our cows have names and this one is Tally. We do this fresh cow protocol on all of them except for the brand new first cat peppers. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was really fun bringing you guys along. Um, we also got a camper over the weekend so if you want me to do like a, a tour of that i'm really excited about it so i could do that too but um yeah thanks for watching